Hey guys, Brad Berryman with Central Marine Boat Sales in St. Petersburg, Florida. Here today to show you guys the best way to tie a cleat knot from a boat to a dock, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so when I'm tying a boat up to a dock, a couple things to keep in mind. Length of line, length of boat, length of dock. So what I have here are a couple 20 foot long, 3 8 inch, just braided dock lines. This is a pretty standard issue for most boats. You guys are gonna either have usually around a 3 8 inch or for the bigger boats, you'll have typically a half inch. Uh, but 3 8 for a boat this size is totally fine. This is a 21 foot boat. So with your typical dock line, you're gonna have two different sides. One side will have a loop, just like this. One side will have a loop and the other side will just be a stray end, just like this, okay? Typically, the side that does have the loop will go to your boat. When you do have the loop, the loop's gonna go through the cleat from the outside of the boat to the inside of the boat. And the reason that you do this, if I go through the cleat from the outside of the boat to the inside of the boat, and then wrap around my cleat, that way if I have any tension on this, it's just pulling straight uh, from the cleat itself. I'm not having any kind of loops or knots in my line here. Now, if I did this backwards, and I went from the inside of the boat to the outside of the boat. Number one, it makes it really difficult because my loop gets really tight. And two, you see how it kind of crosses over itself over the top of the cleat there. That's not what we want. So again, just remember, if you do have this loop on the end of your dock line, you're gonna go from the outside of the boat to the inside of the boat, around both sides and pull. Now for the dock side. On the dock side, I'm gonna teach you a really simple cleat knot here. Now again, this is a knot that will vary just a little bit depending on a couple things. Like I said, length of boat, length of rope, and length of dock. So here, I'm gonna go around the far side of the cleat, away from my boat. Okay, from the, from the side of the cleat on the boat, I wanna wrap around the farthest side of the cleat on the dock. Once I do that, I'm gonna go around the bottom of the cleat again and make a full wrap around the cleat. Now that I have a full wrap around both sides of the bottom of this cleat, I come up over the top and cross once over the top. And then on the second cross, I'm going to loop this underneath itself and pull tight. Now I want you to see how I did that one more time. Again, I'm going to start with my knot on the far side of the cleat from the boat, farthest away from the boat, go underneath the cleat so I have a full wrap cross over the top, underneath, over the top, and then I'm gonna loop and go underneath. Now what you don't wanna do is loop the opposite way. If I loop the opposite way, it's gonna do all sorts of funky stuff here. That's not what you're looking for. I want this line here and this line here to be touching side by side, okay? Now there's a couple variations to this that you have to think about. I'm doing this knot with a 3 8 inch dock line. That is the correct knot for this boat, for, for a boat this length, and for a dock and a cleat that size. Now if I had a smaller diameter rope, here's what you want to do. This would slip if I had a much smaller diameter rope. I could pull this hard and the friction on the ropes would not actually pull it tight. So really what I would want to do if I had a smaller diameter rope is make another full wrap around the bottom of the cleat before I did my crosses and my loop over the top. 